Hey, I'm Machiolini. I play Maya Aqua on The Abnormals. Maya thinks she knows everything, and she also can be stubborn because she thinks she knows everything. You could do anything else with it. Transfiguration, matter manipulation, hell, even bio reconfiguring. And I think that's something we really share. She's a Miss Know-It-All, which is cool, and I definitely consider myself one. Even though I don't know it all, I will come off as one. She likes being in control, and she likes being the smartest person in the room. But when you do that, you have a wall up, or you just kind of don't want to let anyone in and let them know who you really are. And no, from a distance, everyone thinks you're really smart, calm, cool, and collected. In reality, you're not. Maya's character is really meant to represent the multi-facets of the young black girl. Um, one who is conscious of her own power, but unsure of how to use it. Whether it's to save the day or find some way to fix something in her own normal or magical life. As she starts to catch wind that something might not be right in Briarfell due to this new presence coming into town. And it not only puts her in the forefront of her own story, but the story of the series as well having predominantly black female friends and of course being raised by a black mom and then a black grandmother and then all these other great black women in my family just seeing the treatment of black women and young black girls in general on tv has in movies as well has always been so upsetting because they are usually given the short end of the stick i am entitled to be afraid for you if i feel terror you should be ashamed being scared of vampires just because of them being vampires is racist being scared of vampires is racism. Okay, well. Luckily, there has been significant change in the portrayal of Black women in certain genres. There was a time where they typically played as the second fiddle or supporting character, usually to a white character or their white female best friend. They're always asking, You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Is everything all right? You know, what can I do to help? And it's never the other way around. I didn't want this to happen. If there was anything that I could do to make it different, I... I know. One instance that always really stuck out to me was uh, Bonnie Bennett from The Vampire Diaries. She was the witch of the show, and typically that meant for her that she had to make every major sacrifice in order to save the day. But there was very little time that she had enough agency or enough support in her actions, and she was always left to kind of do the dirty work for the other white protagonists while she had to suffer the most. The other cool thing about this cast and crew of amazing talent is we're all beautiful people that are black and of other ethnicities as well, but we are predominantly black. And I just want young black kids to see us and just get excited that we're not doing something super stereotypical to when you see black people on TV and we're feeling that stereotype, we're doing a fun and mystical show that you don't get to normally see us all in so dominantly and inspires another group of people to want to do the same thing we did in any type of genre of anything. Yeah, Watch cool. the abnormal stream. Like, subscribe. Like and subscribe. Follow new us comments. on Instagram at the new abnormals. You can follow us on Twitter, Facebook. More from your favorite cast and crew coming soon. My name's Maki. Boom. Oh.